Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be showing you how to use images in your WickEditor.com projects. Now, there might be a number of reasons why you'd want to use an image in your project, whether that's for having a reference for something to draw on, um, or bringing in an asset that you've created in another program to use in a game. There's so many different reasons why you'd want images in. Uh, to start, to bring your images in, you're going to want to click on the Upload Assets button in the Asset Library. That's that big plus. So once you click that, you should be able to get access to your file system. And here, I've got an image already called Flashy GeoPerfect. Um, Flashy is our mascot. And uh, once I've uploaded his image in here, I'll get an asset in the Asset Library that I can click and drag onto the canvas. And once I let go, he'll be dropped right in. Now. This image is way too large to use. So um, you'll notice that I'm a little zoomed out here. If you're super zoomed in, like let's say you bring it and you know, your image is giant, um, you can just click the zoom out button and get a better look of your, at your image. Um, using the cursor, I can select the image I've brought in and I can rescale it. Now, if you just start rescaling it, you might um, notice that your image won't stay in um, the correct port rep proportions. So in order to do that, I'm just going to undo this movement. I'm going to hold the shift button and then scale my image. And this will keep the image exactly in proportion. So you'll notice that I can even scale it, you know, lengthways. I can scale it upside down. I can scale it back and forth. But no matter what, um, holding the shift key will keep the image in proportion. Now I can move this image in here. I can rotate it. I can rescale it. Um, I could even draw on top of it. So if I um, select the brush, I could just draw on top of the image. No matter what I want to do, I now have this asset in my project for use later. So that's it. That's how we bring assets into Wick and we use them in our projects. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more projects uh, and more tutorials, comment down below and let me know what you want to see. Um, and if you want to support the Wick editor, head on over to our Patreon, add a donation there. All those donations are used to support this free and open source tool. Thanks so much for watching and we can't wait to see what you make.